What's going on everybody? Tom here with Keto Lifestyle and today is Taco Tuesday so that means we're making tacos. Now unfortunately this video probably won't make it to you until Wednesday so go ahead and save this recipe for next week Tuesday. But we're gonna get rolling on this so check out the recipe and I will see you guys at the end of the video. Before we start cooking things, there's a little bit of prep work we need to do, and for this recipe, it's mostly just chopping up a quarter of an onion, so I'm just going to get this chopped as finely as I can, and set it aside until we start cooking. Now that that's done, we're going to add one teaspoon of olive oil into our pan. Now this pan is sitting there on medium to medium high. You want to let it heat up just a little bit before adding in that quarter of an onion that we chopped up in the previous sequence. Now once this is in there, we're also going to add one teaspoon of minced garlic. You can use fresh garlic, but I just buy it in the tub like this. And again, one teaspoon of that's going to go right into the onion mixture. Now we're going to stir this up a little bit just to allow things to caramelize. You don't want it to go fully translucent, but if it starts to become a little bit clear, that's about the point where you want to start adding your ground beef. Now those of you who have watched my channel before know what this is. It's just a pre-portioned chunk of ground beef. This is 80-20 and they come in these one pound blocks like that from my grocery store. And I'm going to add that to my pan. Now you do want to make sure that your ground beef is fully thawed. This was a little bit hard still so you can see I'm having trouble breaking it up. But if you get it thawed, you won't have that issue. Once the ground beef is mostly brown, you want to start adding your seasonings. To start this off, it's going to be one tablespoon of chili powder. You can tell I use chili powder a lot because I buy it in these massive containers. Next up is one quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. Now I know there's already fresh garlic in here, but you want to accentuate that flavor just a little bit, so I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of it. Same thing goes with the onion powder. There's already onions, but it never hurt to add a little bit more. After a quarter teaspoon of onion powder has been added, we're going to add some red pepper. Now I just do a few little shakes of this, I kind of know what spice range I like, but be careful because it can get hot. Then we're going to add 1 teaspoon of smoked paprika, followed by 1 teaspoon of salt. You can use sea salt, pink salt, whatever you want, just get a teaspoon of salt in there, and then follow that with a teaspoon of black pepper. And of course, you cannot forget the cumin, so we're going to add 1 teaspoon of cumin as well. Now there is still one seasoning that I have not added and we'll get to that in a second, but first I'm going to mix this up. Now you want to mix it really well because the ingredients are kind of batched in there. You could mix them in a bowl before adding, but I'm just too lazy, so I just make sure I mix it extra well once it's in the pan. And that last season that I mentioned is dried cilantro. If you have fresh cilantro, great, use it. I don't buy it because I don't go through it fast enough and I end up wasting it. So I just use the teaspoon of dried cilantro, throw it in the meat, and give that a final stir. Now I know everyone out there knows how to build a taco, but this is how I do it just to optimize the fat intake. So I do start with a layer of sour cream. I know some people like to put it on top, but hey, I think this is cooler. And then I'm going to follow that with my ground beef. Now there's plenty of fat in the ground beef because it is 80-20. On top of my ground beef, I'm just going to put about an ounce of cheddar cheese. If you're tracking macros, make sure you are weighing these things because it's way easy to go over. And to spice things up just a little bit more, I'm going to add some gringo bandito hot sauce. If you have not tried this stuff, you absolutely need to. It does pack a bit of a punch, but it has great flavor behind it. All right, everybody, now that you've seen how to make this taco seasoning and we have assembled our tacos, remember, you can use store-bought low-carb shells, or if you want to get really, really particular, you can use the ones in the keto tortilla video that I made right up here. Go ahead and check that out if you haven't. But it is time for the taste test. So I'm going to grab one of these big old boys right here and give it a taste. That is killer, guys. Now, I like my tacos a little bit spicy, but not too spicy. So you have to be a little bit careful depending on how much red pepper you put in there. But for me, a couple shakes is good. If you don't like spicy, back off on it a little bit. And that gringo bandito hot sauce is killer. But honestly, give this seasoning a try if you don't want to go out and spend a lot of money on those little packets. With that, guys, I'm going to close the video. If you liked the video, go and leave it a like. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section. And as always, if you have not subscribed yet, go and hit that subscribe button. Helps me out a lot and you get to see more awesome recipes like this. So with that, I will see you in the next one.